Hey race team, this is Jason at Go Power Sports and today I'm going to show you what to expect for the GPS 180 mini bike race on November 11th. Follow me. The GPS 180 mini bike race is an off-road race that will test your ability and endurance. Whoever covers the most ground in 180 minutes will be crowned our champion. Mini bike racers from all over the country will come to duke it out and as soon as you enter the gates, there's going to be plenty of room for parking. There will be parking for personal vehicles and RVs. We will have attendants to help guide you with parking. We will have first come, first serve spots to the side of registration. Let me show you where that is. The GPS 180 will be held on November 11th at the GPS Ranch. We've listened to your feedback for the past two years and have updated the track with course features that are sure to excite riders new and old. You can show up a day early and camp out and get a few practice laps in starting Friday, November 10th at 9 a.m. If you show up the day of the race, gates will open at sunrise and races will start at 10 a.m. for the juniors and noon for the main event. All right, this is where camping is going to be. It is first come, first serve. There is no electrical hookups, no water hookups. And as soon as you find your spot, go ahead and unload your mini bike. Don't help. Easy. All right, after you unload your mini bike, bring it over to registration. This is where you're going to check in. You're also going to make sure that you have already signed your waiver and you're going to collect your time card. Each team only needs one time card. Now you can take your bike to take. Thank you. All right, you ready for tech, big dog? I am. What do I need? Let's see. You got eight inch wheels, so that's good because it's a 10 inch wheel max. Um, let's crank her up. So you're going to make sure my pull start works. Yep. All day, baby. Okay. Ride it up to the track and hit your brake. Beautiful. Now kill it. Now you're ready to rock and roll. This is what you need. Pants, protective footwear that covers ankles, long sleeve, gloves, and of course, a helmet. All right, 30 minutes before the GPS 180 race starts, each team will draw one number out of a red cup to see their starting position. Woo! So after you've got your number, put your mini bike in its proper position on one side of the track. Then you're gonna stand on the other side of the racetrack until the starting gun goes off. Now the GPS 180 uses a Le Mans style start when the gun goes off. Be sure to stay tuned because Taylor and I will be reviewing a full GPS 180 lap in our next video. Let's take a ride, let's go through the lap and we'll call it the various section names. Pit row. Dragon's Tail. Sherwood Grove, which is smaller than a forest. The hill, which is very unmistakable. It's a huge shoot up a rocky hill. Sherwood Forest Part 2. The Yui. Pucker Up Buttercup. Back Street, New Edition, Power Stretch, Bucking Bronco. New Hogland and country roads. Now you will need to record your times when you come to the end of your lap. To keep everyone safe, you must slow down to 10 miles an hour or less when approaching the pit area. 
Here are three different scenarios for logging your lap time. One, if you have a teammate in the pit, simply come to a complete stop, have your teammate annotate the time on the red timer to your time card. After you've come to a complete stop and got your lap time, you may now slowly exit the pit area and proceed to the next lap. Two, if you have a teammate who will be swapping onto your mini bike, come to a complete stop in the pits and swap with your teammate. As your teammate slowly exits the pit area, annotate your time on your time card. And if you are a low lonely boy with no friends, if you are going to participate in our juggernaut class or lone wolf, you must stop in the pits, jog to your time card, fill it out, proceed back to your mini bike. Mini biking ain't easy, and there's a good chance you'll have at least one crash or breakdown during the race. If your mini bike happens to break down, please do your best to remove yourself and your bike off of the track. Flag down one of the attendants for help. Our rescue vehicle will come pick you and your mini bike up. and then bring you back to our repair center where you can fix up your mini bike to get back up and running. At the repair center, we will have a welding machine, a few extra parts and some standard tools there, but you will be responsible for your own repairs. If you haven't used any of these tools before, now is not the time to learn. If you get injured or are otherwise unable to continue the race, you will have EMS on site to take care of you. Name is hurt right over there. After the race, we will collect all the time cards, tabulate the times, and find out who our champions are. We'll announce the winners in each category at the closing ceremony, but don't worry, the fun doesn't end after the trophies are handed out. We encourage everyone to stick around, camp out that night, because once it's dark, it's time for burning bike. A giant wooden mini bike will set on fire. As the bike burns down, we'll bask in the warmth of the giant fire and the mini bike community we all love. We will provide water and pops for all attendees. For food, you can bring your own barbecue or food, or there will be food on site the day of the race. The cafe will provide a race day special for only $10. It includes a pulled pork sandwich, two sides, and dessert. The GPS team looks forward to seeing you on Saturday, November 11th for the GPS 180 mini bike race. Tune your bikes, prep your gear, and as always, ride on.